Howdy there folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Xenoblade Chronicles X adventure extravaganza of awesomeness and fun times to be had here in the wonderful world of Mira, where I just realized we've hit 10 hours. And after looking at the how long to beat, I'm actually going to lean more towards about 70 to 80 hours for us and my sort of lethargic playthrough style. Uh, so we're, we'll say 70 hours, we're seventh of the way through the game. Not too hot, not bad at all. Let's see whether or not we got any more double guns from fighting these enemies. No, we don't have any more dual guns that we can use, that's a shame. Have we leveled up at all in terms of uh, our rank? We're close, we're real close to being rank two, and maybe then we'll hopefully get some new abilities. But uh, we're going to continue our search for a segment of the life hold immediately after we get this uh, deposit here. Booyah, and uh, is there anything particularly useful here? Let me click on it. Uh, ooh, there's actually stuff we can mine here, so let me bring that up on the recording. There you go, so you can see. This is on the gamepad, of course. So we're going to change probe type, and we're going to throw down a mining probe, probably a mining probe G2, uh, so that we can get all of the... Click on it again. The Enduron Lead and the White Cometite. Yeah! Yeah! That's some cool stuff right there, you know. Real into that. Very real things that we can get. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, just running this way. Full speed, very hostile. Can we hide back here and like not be seen by it, one wonders? Will it run past here? Where did it go? Okay, let's go. I think we can make it. I don't know where it went. Hopefully it went past us. Hold on, I want to get this. There we go. Hopefully we're not about to just, like, run into it around this corner. Shrek me! Shrek, 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 run! Run, don't stop! We're fighting it, I guess! It's the Divine Wind! It's L it's L Lambert? It's Lambert the Divine Wind! Come on, let's go! Gonna cut it up the backside. You guys do your thing. Death to Lambert! <laughs> Such a ridiculous name. I keep forgetting, like, we're all level 14, uh, Lao's level 15, so a level 15 monster is not that far ahead of us. Oh, that was really supposed to be an attack from the rear. I kind of messed that up a bit, didn't I? This music slaps! So good! I can think of nothing better to listen to while fighting Lambert. Yeah! Take that, Lambert. <laughs> In the end, we got him. He never stood a chance. Although he was actually doing pretty decently, and if I wasn't paying enough attention, he might have killed us. Although, if I wasn't paying attention, would he have killed us? What would I have done differently by not paying attention? It's not like I was trying to heal at just the right times, because I can't, because I don't have that type of ability. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're, we're getting closer, I think, to our little piece of the life hold. I wonder if it's going to be... Something that's really big and obvious, or if it's going to be like a little red thing on the ground that i got to pick up. Um, nope, yeah, that's pretty big and, and kind of obvious. I think we... Uh, unless that's not it. It's always possible it's something else down here. Oh, no! Hey! Can you not, please? We're afraid of this. monsters just destroy everything they see? No. This is organized. Calculated. We aren't the only ones hunting down the light. What was it? All Earth aliens must die, right? We have to try and salvage what we can. Let's go. Things are serious now. Oh, they're all level 15. Okay, again, not that far ahead of us. I target you, sir, and I've got new abilities now. Okay, cool. This is still an attack from the back, though, right? Did I get that from the back, or was I at the side? What is this? Okay, I'm trying to pay attention while also fighting and, and reading this. So, uh... Uh, target single enemy deals weapon damage plus boost damage in ranged combat. Whoa, that was a cool ability. What about this one over here? Uh, deals weapon damage plus from the side, so that's using, uh, oh, it boosts TP as well. So first off, let's do this. That should deal a lot of damage, and then we'll get to the side, if we can. And then we'll do that. Oh, was that a sliding slinger? I wasn't even reading what it was called. It was! 
We just did our first ever sliding slinger. Also, I think we're about to die. Okay, hold on. Everyone, concentrate your fire on this one guy. I'm about to die. I'm dead. Uh... How are we doing when I'm defeating these guys? I was busy reading about my new abilities, so I wasn't really paying attention to anyone's health or anything. I don't think we're gonna defeat them all in like seven seconds though. So maybe we just, yeah, okay. Well, that's an unfortunate turn of events. I hope we don't have to fight freaking Lambert again. Oh, he is back. Maybe we can slip past him though. Maybe we don't have to do that again. Oh, here he comes. Okay, if we just stand, like, over here against this rock wall, kind of out of sight of him. Wow. Lambert's an idiot. Not too shabby. Or is it going to trigger that cutscene again, or can we just kind of hop down there and sort of uh, take a moment to compose ourselves and maybe upgrade some of our new abilities? I don't think we're going to get the cutscene again, because it's already got our objective on the screen right now. Uh, is that another Lambert? Is that, like, a little Lambert? Okay, hold on. Let's get up here. He's not a rampaging Lambert. Which I guess makes all the difference. So, I do have new abilities. Ground gear is not what I'm after unless I have... I've got new glasses. No, okay, none of that's particularly useful. What I'm after is my arts. So I can read more about my new arts. And then maybe upgrade said arts. Deals weapon damage plus boosts damage in ranged combat. So we do that and then we switch to our guns? Is that how that works? That sounds cool. So we're definitely going to level that one up a couple of times because that uh, the, sl the sliding slinger deals weapon damage from the side, uh, boosts TP. Very cool. And then, so that's now two... Ooh, that's expensive. So level three, level three, level three. Uh, we're probably going to unlock some additional ones here soon, so we'll leave that be. I haven't really updated anyone else's. I'll we'll go through here and kind of make sure everyone else's is also upgraded. And, and look, I found this ability that it restores HP when landing melee hits. Figured that might be useful for Alma. Okay, so I didn't quite make it to level 15, but I did fight and kill everything that was near me. And I think I'm ready this time to, uh, to, to, to do less poorly. Basically, all I did was kind of get, like, a feel for how exactly to fight like this character now. I think I get the general idea. See, some of you folks probably thought I was, like, joking, but I wasn't. I was being serious. Literally, I fought a bunch of guys. I didn't level up any, but I got an idea of how to fight like this character. And that's what's making all the difference right now. I'm not saying we're definitely going to win this fight, uh, but what I am saying is that I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this fight. The fact that no one, none of our guys are dead, you're like, yeah! I didn't even need to finish the sentence, we did it! It's just about practice. You just gotta practice and figure your way around. See what the purple Shreks have to say today. Hmm. Well, well, well. Seeing truly is believing, isn't it? Who would have thought? <laughs> Um, um, hello, hi. This is what the female of Kit Fistu's race looks like. Is this a boss fight? Because, I mean, we barely won the last fight. We're working together. Why would you do this? Why do you hate us? Hate? Human extinction is duty. Our duty is vanguard. Vanguard? So that's what you call yourselves? Indeed. Humanity is a blight. A great cancer festering on the cosmos. Our job is to eradicate it. Humanity is here in peace. It gives you the right to destroy the life hole. Is that what you thought? So pretty. Your language. Your technology. And yet, so dangerous. You must be purged. This is our calling as Gangly. The cause of the righteous. Then you'll forgive us for defending ourselves against your righteous cause. 
Well, this should at least be more entertaining than stamping out the lives of your sleeping friend. I'm not ready. I'm gonna just throw that out there now before it starts. Alright, let's go. Yeah, well, I'm dead. And a surprise to no one. I'm absolutely dead. I'm so dead right now that it is remarkable how dead I am. I'm up! Oh my gosh, that's the first time anyone's bothered to res me! Maybe someone will res me again? Maybe? It's possible. They did it once already, but I don't think they have enough, uh... I think you need 3,000 green stuff in order to patch me up. Darn it. That is unfortunate. No, I don't want to lower the difficulty. Get out of here. Silly game. I'm going to do what I did last time and just fight everything again. And maybe this time I'll level up. Hey, we unlocked some new ability. We've got um, upper hand, target self, grants critical power. Let's. I don't know what that means, but hot diggity, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome! Cool! So it grants critical power 1 for 20 seconds, and uh, if we upgrade it, it grants critical power 2 for also 20 seconds, but it only has a 25 second cooldown instead of... Actually, you know what? What if we do it again? So that gets our cooldown down to 22 seconds, critical power 3. Sure. really think we need to start bringing, like, you know, like a healer with us places we go when we do things. I'm just suggesting that as a possibility in the future. Hey, class rank up. How about that? So we are now class rank five. Not quite level 15, though, which is a darn shame. And I think we've killed everything in this little valley. We have to venture out and find more prey. Can I hit that thing from here if I tried really hard? I don't think I have any abilities that let me shoot far out. Is there a way for me to, like, shoot that from a distance? Let's see what you've got. How close can I get without falling off the edge? And how close do I need to be to actually, like, start shooting? What if I did that? Oh! No! No! You imbecile! No! Well, we know how to get up there again now. I figured while we were in the area, you know, making our way back up, we might as well come over here and activate this. Because why not? And- Oh! I think we were probably supposed to spring that attack before we finished doing this, but whatever. Oh, hey! We got a new one! What is this? Um... Target self boosts potential. Plus, from behind, boost damage. Dis uh, disables enemy detection. Okay. Does that mean that I need to be behind the enemy to get those? Oh, I'm dead. All right. I'm ready to try this again. Do I think it's going to go better this time? I don't know. One thing I know we're going to do differently is I'm going to attack these guys first. And I'm going to make all of my guys also attack these guys first. I'm going to do the same with this guy here if I can. Okay. Two assistants are down. Now it's just me... You and all of my friends and you by yourself and none of your friends because we killed all of your friends And I think we're doing a lot better already So it's just me and you and all of my friends and you by yourself and us doing better than we were before And me failing button prompts because I'm talking too much And that's just a thing that I do sometimes and you're just gonna have to learn to deal with it, okay? You're just kind of standing there. I don't really feel like she's even really doing anything. And I don't want to, like, taunt her or anything. Because I don't want her to start doing things. But at the same time, she's really just not doing anything, is she? Okay. We're going to get behind her again. We're going to pop this one. Hopefully she doesn't notice us back here. Are we doing... How are we doing? How, like, like uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how are we doing? I really did feel like we were doing well. But then now I'm not too sure. Everyone's health's okay. Oh, she's doing something big there, though. Don't know what that was. Glad I got away from it. Smack her in the butt with the big swords. That didn't quite do what I had hoped. Oh, I don't know if I need to res Lin or not. I don't think I have enough- I don't have enough points to res Lin. This is where things could start going downhill real fast if we don't, like, get her taken care of real quick. Because now I'm about to die. Ah, I'm getting nervous. I'm starting to feel the nerves. Oh my gosh, we did it. Okay. Oh, an hour later. <laughs> Wretched little primates. You don't know when to quit, do you? This isn't over. You cannot escape us on this planet or any other. Sooner or later, your kind will be cleansed. Mr. Scalidia, now 
I don't know what that implication indeed. was. Such a shame it cannot bring back that which was lost to you. But this is spilled milk over the dam now. I just don't get it. What do they have against humans? I'm not sure how they wound up on Mira. But you saw them, Nick. That is definitely them. Who? The aliens that destroyed Earth. The ganglion were among them. What? It wasn't just them. They were definitely one of the forces involved in that battle. I'm absolutely positive now. That scale-like mech we just saw? Check it against the NLA records and I'm pretty sure it'll come back with a perfect match. <sighs> anyway, we really appreciate all your help here, Elf. But we need to be heading back now. Not at all. We only wish we could have done more. I wish we could compensate you somehow. But honestly, there's nothing left for us to give. Compensate you, sir? Hmm. How about allowing us to accompany you back to your city? You want to come back to New L.A.? Why exactly? Well, treasures are quite destroyed. Without the archives, we're afraid our thirst for knowledge cannot be quenched. But an entire Earth city to explore? Such an experience would provide compensation beyond compare. The thought makes us tingle. Okay. Hmm. What do you think, Rook? Seems friendly enough. Sounds like it could be fun. Yeah. They're not like the gangland, after all. We want to live in harmony with all the other species here. Then it's settled. Excellent. Let's be off the early worms for the birds. Right. Let's start heading back. We should report to the commander at once. Nicely done! That was probably the longest mission we've had in the game so far, just getting here and then actually fighting them. I'm wondering if maybe I kind of... maybe progressed a little bit too quickly, because I feel like the game expected us to be uh, level 15 when we got here. And we were not. And we are now. But uh, let me check the map here. Let me get that pulled up. There we go. And uh, if we follow that all the way back to... Uh, let's see. Can I get out of this region, perhaps? Yeah, it wants us to go back to New LA. I may, I may think that about... Uh, consider... Gosh, words are hard sometimes. Wait, what's this? What is this in the middle of town? What... What, what's going on there? And why can't I click on it? Weird. I also don't see a way to fast travel back to town, so I guess we'll just fast travel right outside of town? Odd, but okay. Wowzers! Alright, so the game actually does not have us going back to the barracks. It has us going to Blade HQ here in the Great Blade Tower, which I don't think we've... We haven't been inside of here before, have we? I don't think so. This might be our first trip inside the Great Blade Tower. Meeting the real villain, this guy in the suit. Hmm? Either you picked up another Xeno, or someone's been holding their breath too long. This is El. We met in Noctilin. We are El Sidoff, if it please you. This planet has been our home since days of yore. Oh, a long-time resident? That's why we brought him back. His knowledge could prove invaluable. I'd like to request permission for him to stay in New L.A. It's convenient all these aliens can't speak English. Just anyone to waltz into our city on a whim. How much do we know about him? I know enough. Enough to say that we can trust him. All Miran natives are good, honest folk. Yes, Tatsu, yes. Anyway, Elma, you do seem quite sure of yourself. All right. I'll share the responsibility. He can stay. If that's acceptable, Mr. Director General. This is the real if villain. You're both certain, so be it. He's this is the Many bad guy. Thanks, this is a prediction. Sirs. I don't know that. Truly, we are walking on the ninth cloud of seventh heaven. 
Please call us L. The rest is far too formal. And honestly, we prefer L anyway. More importantly, Colonel, what happened with the life hold unit? I see. So it wasn't the core after all. No. We confirmed it was one of the archive units. Unit number 07. 07? That would be the LC repository, wouldn't it? One of three, but yes. The entirety of the Library of Congress archives. As I recall, the data was stored on units 07 through 09. Well, thank God it wasn't the core. This situation could have been a lot worse. Plus, I'm sure someone has a backup of, like, Wikipedia somewhere. The LC archives contained nearly every published work in mankind's history. It's not like it's just a bunch of random books and manuscripts, you know. It's a history of human thought, a record of opinions and emotions. I mean, yeah, sure, but... So if you stop and consider what it means to lose even a third of that data, it's a cultural and historical loss of catastrophic proportions. <clears throat> we do have parity data for the archives here. We know which unit was lost, so hopefully we can find some way to restore it. Let's hope uh, that so. is how parody works. Moving on. These ganglion. Hope it's not like a raid five or they something. Were involved in the destruction of Earth. Here, see for yourself. The left shot is from a battle over Beijing. The right from our encounter. Son of a. Is it possible this is their native planet? Tatsu told us they aren't from here, and L confirmed it. They're recent arrivals. Very recent. So, either it's one hell of a coincidence, or they followed us. Considering they appear to be systematically targeting the lifehold, I'd say that leaves no question they followed us here. Could they possibly know the purpose of the lifehold? Maybe the whole reason we haven't found the core yet is because those scumbags already trashed it. If so, none of us would be here talking in the first place, would we? Uh, you got a point there. This information doesn't leave this room. But we've had several recent Pathfinder reports of Xeno sightings in contact. They may or may not be gang. But regardless, I propose we double down on our defenses going forward. That'll be all, Elma. Please continue hunting for any signs of the life hold. Yes, sir. Remember, the clock is always ticking. We have to find that unit before it's too late. Story mission complete. I mean, if we take all of last episode and then all of this, then what is that? About four hours so far? Quite the investment. Quite the investment. I could string them together into one single chapter four video, but I, I'm not going to. The Noctilum signal wasn't the core, but rather an archive unit. You also learned of the existence of a hostile alien organization known as the Ganglion. The Purple Shreks. We know them. We, we've known them for a while. Oh, did you know about the Collectopedia? It's a database of all the mysterious items found on Mira. Operatives who come across anything of significance during their travels are requested to register an entry. You'll receive a small reward for each item registered. I did not know that. I mean, I know about the Collectopedia from the first game. I didn't realize it was here, though. Uh, be sure to walk the streets of New LA from time to time. You never know what new info you may come across. Some of it can even trigger new segment recon opportunities. After raising your survey rate in the wild, why not take a relaxing stroll through the city? It's a great idea, Lynn. Thank you. How goes your survey of Mira? Remember that your survey rate can be boosted by more than just planting data probes. Doing recon for the segment surrounding a new Frontier nav site will also help. So try knocking out some recon whenever you can. Absolutely. Sure thing. There's a new arms manufacturer in town called Meredith & Co. I, uh, apparently, they're implementing new technology based on data from Xeno Combat Encounters. Sounds pretty cool, huh? Head over to the AM Terminal in the Armory Alley to check out, check them out. And hey, we can actually have him join us now. So he's a Wanderer Division. 
Uh, Shield Trooper Plus, a native of the planet Mira, though eerily statuesque by human standards, L's looks offer a sharp contrast to his whimsical speech and folksy personality. His immense knowledge uh, has gained him trust of both Nagi and Van Dam. L gives equal support to all comrades, no matter where they hail from. He uses a unique style based on the Shield Trooper class. Uh, signature art is Mindstorm. Signature art 2 is Dual Dynamo. Cool. Love him. Yeah, oversave that previous... Overwrite that previous save. Absolutely. Get rid of that sucker. We can get this guy out of our party now. He's a bit of a bland sucker, isn't he? Okay, we really need to get some new dual swords. Something higher than a level 1 would be nice. Uh, we're actually... What level are we now? So we can't wield a level 20, but a level 10 is probably the best we're going to be able to get. Alrighty. Well, we just took a trip to get some new armor. And uh, this is not this is not fashion armor. This is the actual real armor I got. I also got some much better guns and swords. I also went ahead and specced up uh, Alma's and Lin's weapons and, uh, quite a bit because it's the first time since I started the game that really there was anything available for them that was better than what they already had. And I uh, didn't get Lao anything because we're gonna swatch Lao out because well Lao's he's, we're gonna swap, he's a bit of a wet blanket. What can I say? It's not really uh, that that interesting of a. Uh, of a person, and I'm sure he might be useful, but he's a bit redundant in terms of uh, party members. We really need to find someone who can, like, heal us up and take care of us, and I, I have an idea of who that might be already. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do real quick was have a look at the Collectopedia, and wow. Okay, yeah, so we've actually found quite a few of the things. Do I have to go through and do this all one at a time? we got a couple of battle points for that. Hot diggity. I gotta do these all one at a time here? Okay, but it's not gonna give me, like, a notification each time. That's handy. There really should be a, uh, like, submit all button, because this is, um... Gosh, this is going to take a really long time, isn't it? Alright, so that's Noctilum at 31%, and Primordia at 66%. Uh, these are, I guess, other regions we're going to be going to in the future. That's fun. Alright, well, that's the Collectopedia bit down. Did that get us towards Ma our blade level? I think it did. That's handy. Hey, there's L. Uh, we would like to open up a shop here, but traveling with you sounds like additional fun. What do you say, my friend? Will you help us quench our thirsty knowledge? Absolutely, I would love to have you. Delightful! We will try not to get in your way. We're gonna swap him out for Wet Blanket Lao. Lao's not been a bad guy! I don't dislike Lao. It's just not particularly interesting. So we're gonna be leaving him behind for a shield trooper, who, uh, if we view status here... I don't know, he looks like a cool guy. I don't know why I thought this guy was going to be, like, healing us, though. I think he just takes damage for us, is what all those kind words that were being said about him in the uh, description of his character meant, which is totally fine. But let's make sure he's going to be really good at it. So, actually, I guess the search for a proper healer is uh, yet ongoing. We've yet to find one, and that's a darn shame. What can I do here? Wait, what? Uh, level conditions not met? we got to get... Okay, we got to get, like, friendly with him. I mean, I feel like... We're getting pretty friendly right now, considering I'm just, like, staring at his chest. Okay, moving on. Apparently, we have reached our Marinium limit. I just noticed that when I was about to run into the barracks. It popped up and said we'd, we'd gone above our limit. So, what I'm going to do, because I don't know what else to do with it, is I'm just going to start investing it into some of these uh, weapons manufacturers. Uh, beam technology. Their main products are focused on beam attributes. Their beam-resistant ground gear is a bestseller. Okay, so we can invest in them, but, like... 10,000 Marinium is a bit much. What if we invested 1,000 Marinium in them? Where would that get us? Oh, if we want to get him to level 2, we have to invest 2,000. Well, that's fair. Yeah, we'll do that. Cool, because we're just going to get more Marinium anyway as time passes. I don't know. At this point, I don't know what else to do with this stuff. We might as well invest it in all of these different companies, you know? Let's throw 2,000 towards these guys get them leveled up as well. Only the ambitious survive. Safeguard your life with our finest defense... Uh, defensive tech ever and become fearless in the front lines. Neato. And then what about you, Meredith & Co? A startup seeking to open a new era of weapon development based on tech obtained from the Ginglion, which I think are the, the alien species. They need 5,000, um, which is like all of it that we have. But we'll get more. So why not? Let's get them up there. Uh, oh my. So we can use one of our appetizing Swede Tell to get ranged accuracy up by two. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? We've got plenty of it. We can get up by three if we use another one. Boost range accuracy by 14. What? 
Yeah, go ahead. Why not? I mean, I, I, what are the limitations here? Why wouldn't we want to do that? We can use a muscled sweet bulge if we want to. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, do it. Why not? We've got plenty of it. Let's boost that. There's a lot you can do in here that I really just don't understand still. Uh, there's just there's so much depth to this game that I'm not sure I'm ever going to fully understand. I might need to watch, you know, you know, you know I might just need to buckle down and watch some YouTube videos explaining the basics to me. I'm just not sure about this. I'm genuinely just I'm very confused about why why I would want. I I don't get it. Like what edge is this giving me in battle? I don't understand. So we're going to head back inside now, just so we can check and see what it's going to take to start the next story mission. And I'm going to assume that the game will not allow that just yet until we probably go and do some other things out in the field first. But I do want to check and just see. So is it going to tell me? Hello? Tell me? I install a data probe at Oblivia's entrance and complete renewed will affinity mission. Uh, also, let's see, required members. We cannot have Irina or Gwen with us when we do this. That is fair. Uh, so I've got to figure out how to do those two things. And then I guess we'll be able to pick up next time. So I'm probably going to go do a bunch of side quests and try to get leveled up again because I feel like I want to be a good, strong, solid level before, you know, progressing the pop plot any. Uh, until next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you and I'll see you later. Goodbye!